Welcome back. It is 915. Christian Slater's latest project is the second installment of the Dirty John series. I wanted a husband and a family. Dan needed a wife that could wait on him. I would have been treated better if I'd been a dog and served my master. I'm amazed it only took one bullet to kill Dan Broderick. This installment of the Dirty John series is the Betty Broderick story, which Oprah Winfrey once called one of America's messiest divorces. We've loved him in classics like Heather's, and he's been in hundreds of movies and TV shows. Christian Slater joins us live via satellite. Christian, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. How's Thank the, you very much. How are you doing? How's the quarantine treating you? Uh, the quarantine is, uh, look, I mean, this is obviously a horrible crisis. Uh, my wife and I did just have a baby, so she's nine oh. months old. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I don't know if you can see me. There's somebody in your yard. There, but, uh, yeah, well, I know, I know who it is. Oh, okay, good. All right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, so I did get to hear uh, Dada over the weekend, which was, oh, which was pretty good. That's great. That's amazing. So tell us how you, you came uh, into this Betty Broderick movie. I remember that story from back in the late 80s. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, you referred to uh, the Oprah Winfrey comment. So this was definitely a huge story. It was it was massive, um, you know, and, and the thing is that these two people, they really became, you know, tabloid fodder. Uh, and I think when that happens, you can kind of lose the uh, humanity of, of, of who these people really were. And that's one of the things I really love about getting the opportunity to, to do this story over eight episodes because you can delve obviously more deeply into the psychology of who they were and where they were coming from and how they thought and also you know at the time getting help was not something that was really uh, uh, looked upon as, as like a good thing you were supposed to be able to hold it all together and, and I think that's really where Dan was coming from a great deal you know he was a guy that was power hungry and egotistical and you know as I discovered along the the journey of playing the character that I think he had some real sadistic tendencies as well. You know, he really liked to put his wife through some very, very, or his ex-wife, uh, some very, very difficult situations. Man, well, that'll be some interesting viewing. In the meantime, I have to say, I'm walking by my daughters in high school. Uh, they're watching Heathers for like the 25th time. It's like, you're huge with the teen set now again. Wow. Did you know that? Wow. <laughs> Uh, that's incredible, uh, you know, but yeah, you're, you're, it's funny. I, I talked about that earlier and it is funny to hear, you know, uh, well, that some of the projects that I've gotten to be a part of, you know, have sort of gone on to the next generation and, uh, there, there is a certain, uh, uh, it's, it's adorable. I love it. <laughs> I'm really happy about it. <laughs> You got your start as a kid in a soap opera, and when we hear things like that, we always wonder, is that, is that the product of uh, overbearing parents uh, trying to make their kid a star, or was this something that you just uh, pursued on your own? Or can you no, not you say? No, you hit the nail on the head. They were all overbearing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, I mean, honestly, I, uh, the first role I think I had, I was eight years old, and uh, I played a kid who, fell off his skateboard and was going to the free clinic to get some help and uh, this was on a soap opera called one life to live and i had like three lines and uh, i did it and then they cut and everybody applauded and i think i was hooked from that moment on. Uh, i think we have a clip of it well no we have we a clip of an old abc weekend special you were in so let's take a look at that okay oh my goodness what's the matter <laughs> nothing <laughs> don't tell me. Is that you? You think there's a ghost living in my house, don't you? Have you seen him yet? No, silly. But I've heard the rumors going around. How can you believe in that crazy stuff? It's not crazy, it's true. That's quite a, a head of hair you had going there. He used to live here. He disappeared about seven oh, yeah. years ago. Haunted Mansion Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Don't tell me how oh, it ends. Yeah, of course. The haunted Mitch. I sound like I sound like a Muppet. <laughs> I, mean, I can't see the picture, but I mean that's sort of what it reminds me of. It all comes flashing back, right? <laughs> you know, I remember back in in the day you yeah, had it does. 
You had so many comparisons to Jack Nicholson. Uh -oh. Do you yeah. still get that a lot? Yeah. Uh, well, now it seems like, um, you know, because in this show, I've got a, a, a young guy uh, who plays me as a, a teenager. Wow. And uh, now he's getting compared to me. In, <laughs> I think I read something where it says, he sounds so much like me. He sounds like he's, he, he sounds like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they're still having a, they're still having a lot of fun with that, you know. Uh, but the kid did a the kid did a great job. Um, so it is uh, it is very weird when that stuff starts to happen. When when you know younger people start playing you is is uh, yeah. it's very bizarre. Yeah. Have you ever run into Jack Nicholson? Have you guys ever talked about this? Is is he threatened by you? Uh, it's not a subject that we have talked about. No, no, no. I don't think anything threatens Jack Nicholson. Um, you know, he is, he is very secure. Uh, but no, we, we definitely crossed paths, shaken hands, and, and uh, you know, I think uh, he knows how I feel about him, and I know how he feels about me. <laughs> well, it's great to talk to you. We enjoy you and Mr. Robot as well. And this new series is the Betty Broderick oh, story. Thanks. It airs June 2nd at 8 p.m. on USA Network. Uh, congrats on your new baby, and thanks for joining thanks, us. Thanks, Christian. Thanks for having me very much. All right. Take Thank care. You. Uh,